Okay. Welcome to today's tutorial. And today we are going to learn how we can be able to delete and update a record in Loom database. Last time tutorial, we show how we are able to insert and select the inserted users from the database and show them in a recycle view. Today we are going to add a menu option whereby when I click the menu option, I have the option to delete and even to update. When I say delete, the record is deleted. And when I say update, I'm given the option to update. And I can change this one, beta updated. As you can see, the record has been updated. So let's get started. This project, you can find it in my GitHub repository, whereby I'll leave the link in the description. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to add menu item. So I'm going to create Android resource directory, menu. Within the menu, I'm going to create menu options. And here I'm going to create two items. The first will be update. And I'm going to give it an ID of update. The other one will be delete. And I'm going to give it a title of delete. So that's all how I create my menus. Then I'm going to go to my low users. And I'm going to add an image that allow users to click and then a pop-up menu will appear. So I'm going, I'm going to have my image view, which I'm going to lab content, lab content. I'm going to lab content here. I'm going to align and so palette and true. I'm going to give it source I have my image that is image more but black. You can see it here. There are three buttons which allows us to click and then a pop-up menu will display. I'm going to give it an ID of menu option. And I'm going to align it vertically. And I'm going to give it 10 margin. So that's all. Then I'm going to go to my adapter. I'm going to find my image view. Image options. So I have my many options here. So I'm going to have my image options. I'm going to find view by ID, all ID menu options. Then holder dot image options dot set on click listener. New view on click listener. And I'm going to open my pop up menu. So I can have a method here, public void, show pop up. And I'm going to pass view. So I'll have pop up menu, pop up menu is equal to new pop up menu. And then the pop up menu, I'm going to pass context and view. Then I'll have pop up menu dot inflate. I'm going to inflate my menu, which is menu options. And I'm going to listen to click listener set on menu item click listener new view menu so I'm going to switch between the correct item so I'm going to have 
int id will be menu item dot get item id. So I'm going to switch my id. So by when the id is equals to delete, I'm going to perform a delete in case when all dot id dot update I'm going to do an update. So for now I'm going just to toast a message toast dot make text context delete clip toast dot length long dot show and here I'm going to say update crypt this is show pop up and I'm going to pass a view here so let's learn our app and see what we have this moment Gradle build learning installing the application Gradle application finished launching activity let's see so when I click sorry I didn't finish here pop up dot show so let's learn again and see what we have installing the application launching the application so when i click i have to I have update and the read when i click update update the read create when i click the read the read create so let me change this one to the read with apps so I'm going to my down is where I like my messages which I want to manipulate database with. So I'll have a delete void delete user. And I'm going to pass users and I'll have update void update users. I'm going to pass users users then to my repository that helps me access my down methods so i'll have public void i'll have my public void there it user and i'm going to pass final users so name async task void 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 dot execute so i'm going to implement doing background in here i'm going to have my database dot user down dot delete user and i'm going to pass users i'll have another method here that is public so the other method be public void update user and i'm going to have final users users i'm going to have new async task void 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 dot execute i'm going to implement doing the background and here i'm going to have my database dot user down dot update user and I'm going to pass user so in my view model I'm going to add two methods public void update user within this one I'm going to pass users users and then I'm going to have my repository dot update users users then I'm going to have another public void delete users where I'm going to pass users, users. 
So I'm going to have user repository dot edit users users. So on my main activity, I have two methods that I've added. So I want to listen or click listener here. So I'm going to add a click listener. So I'll have public interface item clicked. And I'll have void update clicked. And I'm going to pass users. And I'll have void delete clicked. And I'm going to pass users. So I'll have here private item clicked. Item clicked. And I'm going to pass it to my constructor. This dot item correct is equal to item correct. So when you click this, instead of showing toast, I'm going to say item correct dot delete clicked, and I'm going to pass users. So within this method, I'm going to add another parameter here users, users. So the read crypt item, and I'm going to pass users. Instead of showing this one, I'm going to have item clicked dot update clicked. And I'm going to pass users. So here I'm going to pass these users. And saying it should be fine. Okay. So on my main activity, I'm going to extend users adapter, now implement users adapter. Dot item correct. And I'm going to implement the methods. So I have two methods, update crypt and delete crypt. So I'm going to start with delete, whereby when you click an item that you want to delete, I'm going to have my user model dot delete user, and I'm going to pass users. So my user adapter, the constructor has changed, and I'm going to pass this because I've implemented the method item correct. So let's learn and see. For now, we are expecting we'll be able to delete the correct item. So my application is learning, installing. Launching. Let me add another user here. I'm going to say Alex. Add. Then I'm going to delete Alex. I'm going to add another one. I'm going to say Alice. Add. Let me now delete Peter. Delete it. So let's work on update. So I'm going to copy this method that I was using to add user. Paste it here and have update user. Now I'm going to pass users. Users. So I'm going to have this one outside. And these ones, I'm going to remove them here. So I'm going to have my ad users dot set text, the text that I'm going to update, which is users dot get username. Then when I click the button add user. I'm going to get the user, the updated value. So I'm going to have my users dot set, and I'm going to have my updated value. So let me make this one final. And then I'm going to have my user view model dot update user.
I'm going to pass users. So let's learn our activity. Let's see what we have. Inserting the application. Launching the application. So if I say update the alias of the fields, this is arrays updated. So let's see alias updated. So I want to change this text of the button. So I'm going to say add users dot search text update. Installing my application. Launching the application. So let's see. If I say update, and I'm going to say to a one. That's it. So I can add another user, and I'm going to say James. Add the user. I'm going to add another user. I'm going to say Peter. I'm going to add Alex. So I want to delete Alex. I want to update Peter. So that's all guys. Thank you for watching. So this is a continuation of the previous tutorial I did. I'm going to leave it in the link where you can find the previous tutorial. If you are new here, consider subscribing for more tutorials.